tuning in. As you can see, this car is on the trailer. And that's because it's for sale. So if you want to buy the car, this is your video. Then we'll tell you everything you need to know about it. Hey Dan, run that intro. Hey Gearheads, thanks for tuning in. It's another episode of Dan's Garage NC, and this is the episode that we're selling the 72 Malibu. So if you're watching this because you saw an ad somewhere, or because you wanted to know more about the car, this is the episode you want to watch. I'm going to walk around the whole car here in the parking lot on the ground so you can see what it looks like as a car. Um, you can see the details of all of the panels. I'll do a slow walk around. I'll probably end up stopping, talking at some point, just putting some music on there. But it is a 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu. It was an original small block 350 car. Did have power steering. Not sure about power brakes. Um, it is just a Malibu, so it's not an SS or any kind of special package. Standard car, real great to restore, great project for someone to pick up. Figure it's going to need everything. It's been sitting in a field for about 40 years, so um, as far as I can tell, everything is here, but you're probably going to have to replace it. It does have front and rear seats. There's no engine or transmission. It does have a 10-volt non-posi rear end, and the floors are pretty much shot. There is a dent on the roof. Some dents and uh, you know the quarters are going to need to be replaced so you can just look around the car if you have any questions you can reply here or you can email me at dansgaragenc at gmail.com this is also going to be going out on uh, youtube tiktok instagram facebook so if you see it at any one of those places please hop over to the youtube and check out the episode there if you do like it like it consider subscribing that really helps me out i do have about 11 more of these cars that i'm going to be pulling out of the uh the dirt and getting them together, cleaning them up, and selling them. I'm located in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you do plan on bidding on the car, it will be going on eBay this Saturday, and it will be up for a week. If you do win, I am going to expect you to pay for it. The last two cars I sold, I had to sell privately after eBay because people bid and then didn't come through with the funds. So make sure you have the money. Make sure you understand that if you bid on it and you end up winning, you do buy it. Um, the future cars I'm going to be selling, I may just start taking offers on them. This one does have a clean title in my name, so it is going to be a great restoration project. The future ones, if somebody makes me a good offer and I like it and they want to come pick it up, I might sell it without a title. Either way, just go over to the YouTube and check that out. Um, other things about this car, it is a two-door. Doors open and close nicely. All the glass is here. The front glass is uh, cracked, so you'll need to replace that. The rest of the glass doesn't look too bad. There is glass for the doors and the quarters. And... I'm going to do a little bit more video of the underneath of the car. There are other videos of it that I shot on YouTube about cleaning out the interior, going around the outside of the car a little bit more as well. So if you have any questions, definitely hit me up in the comments. Enjoy watching, and thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.
I got to the Chevelle home and I realized that the video I shot, it was just way too hot, so I really couldn't take my time. So I thought I'd come back and kind of go over it panel by panel, show you exactly what's going on. A little bit slower, maybe enjoy the music and wanted to see it, but let's kind of go over it uh, a little bit slower. So this front bumper doesn't look bent. It's definitely uh, needing to be re-chromed. This is a uh, falling apart. I don't know if this is a bad re job at some point in the 70s or what, but the bumper itself looks pretty good. The grill, of course, will need to be replaced. It's got a little hole over there. Um, this corner piece, I think I put this on and I don't think it's complete. I don't know if this is broken or not, so this may need to be replaced. Uh, this bezel is good, but you'll need a lens for that. Now, coming back to this fender, it actually does look like it's buckled a little bit in the front here. Feels like it's pretty much metal. Let's, uh, I'm going to turn this light on. Ooh, look at that fancy light. Um, so, you can see... It so actually it looks like it's pretty good metal in here. And you can see the uh, bumper uh, brackets. They're pitted, but they look like they're in good shape. This inner fender well looks pretty good. It's got a split over here. And it's split down here. These are plastic, so need to replace that. Um, fender looks good all up in here. Coming to the back here, does have a little bit of uh, work in here. I guess it had a dent, so it's got a little bit of bondo up there and some cracks in here as well where the nameplate goes. And it's got a big hole in the bottom, but you can buy fender patches. The top looks okay. Coming down, I don't see anything too bad on it. This fender obviously is not the original fender of the car, so we'll kind of go with that. This door, as we know, has been replaced. This is the door that I put on it because the other door wouldn't open. It does look a little weird over here. Oh, that's because the rocker is pushed in. So the rocker definitely is going to need some attention. Let's take a look at the frame rail, shall we? So looking down here at the frame rail, doesn't look too bad. It's definitely pitted, but I don't see any holes or major bends and twists in it. Um, do we look at the suspension? Front suspension is all here. Work with that. Door's got some surface rust down here. A little hole there. bent in at the bottom here. Let's open it up. I did fix the door handles so they actually open now. And you can see the door's got some rust on the bottom so this back corner is bent a little bit. And then looking along the bottom, the rest of the door looks pretty decent. Up in here, the front edge Everything looks okay up there. The A-pillar down to the rocker looks good. Of course, we know the floor is shot, so expect to do floors, but the rocker itself on the top isn't terrible. And then, of course, we have the North Carolina VIN number, but the title will say 72 Chevelle. This quarter looks good at the front. Closes nicely. Um, this quarter down at the bottom where the rocker is pushed in here and here, quarter is pushed in a little bit right here at the front. And of course you got the lip here going around and then back here is where it gets really funky. And of course the lower part of the quarter is uh, trashed as expected. Inner quarter, this is going to need attention up in there. The rest up in here, don't look too bad. All up there. Have a nice drum back there, drum brakes. 
Um, the back of this quarter is where it's really bad, where it got pushed in and up. You can see that. And of course it took the uh, rear tail pan with it. So the tail pan here under the rear bumper is shot all the way across. The rear bumper itself, like the front bumper, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like it's majorly twisted. We'll definitely need a re chrome job over here. Um, let's take a look underneath. Frame back here. Doesn't look terrible. It's got a little bit where it was uh, toe chains hooked up here or something. There's still a body mount on there. Of course, the trunk floor we know you have to replace. It's got 10 bolt rear up in there. It's got a fuel tank, but that's pushed up probably into the floor. So yeah, fuel tank will be needed. This quarter also has some damage here. Had a vinyl top, so it still has the trim here. So if you want to do a vinyl top, you have the trim. And uh, top's not too bad right here. And things falling on it as we speak. The roof back here doesn't look too bad. Up in the front. And then there is a dent on the passenger rear. We'll take a look at that on our way over. It does have the rear glass. It's scratched a little bit, but there's no cracks on it. Looks like it's in good shape, as well as the driver's door glass and the quarter glass are both here and in good shape. They do roll up and down. Coming over to the tail pan up here, or the uh, filler panel looks okay. Doesn't look like there's too much rust in the window channel, but what it looks like and what it is are different things. So the back here, it does have the tail lights. This one has a little chip taken out of it here. This one actually looks okay. And coming over to this side, this one looks okay, and this one looks okay. So three out of four tail lights, not bad. The trunk lid definitely has some interesting things going on here. Let's get this opened up. All right, getting the trunk opened up. The trunk lid itself underneath isn't terrible. There is uh, some inhabitants in here. Let's see if I can get the light. <laughs> yep, there's the nests. I don't think anyone's actively living in there, which is good. It does have the uh, jacking instructions, and the paint actually is not too bad. Um, the lip here is the worst part of it. It's kind of bent over and very rusty, but it is fixable, I would say. This is probably the worst of it over here, um, but the rest of it's not too bad. The uh, front lip looks okay, as do the sides where the quarters meet. And coming across this tail panel, this is pushed down a little bit here in the middle. And then coming over here, you can see it's had a couple different paint jobs. So the lip of the outer lip of the trunk is not too bad. Coming up inside the trunk, looking up the package tray. A little bit of cutouts, a little bit of rust, but it is there. The uh, back seat panel, same, looks pretty good. And then you have the inner and outer wheelhouses. The trunk floor, of course, where it meets is shot, but the wheelhouses don't look too bad. You do have your frame, uh, or your outer trunk edge here, which will all be taken care of when you put a trunk in it. This side, outer and uh, inner wheelhouse, pretty much the same. A couple of issues back here where they meet at the bottom. But other than that, up here with the bracket tree and everything looks pretty good. And then of course the trunk floor, we have discussed that. Obviously it would need to be replaced. But wires are here, everything else should be together. We'll see. And it does close? No, it doesn't. Alright, now it doesn't close. Uh, if you want to know the origin of this car, it's from Roanoke, Virginia, Shelton Chevrolet. Don't know when, um, but it is a Chevelle by Chevrolet. Thank you very much. All right, moving on to this quarter. It's got a hole right here. The top looks like a lot of surface rust. It does have a dent here. It's pushed in a little bit. And then, of course, down here, it's got the same as the other sides, pushed in and a lot of rot in the lower part and into the wheelhouse. 
This one actually has a big dent in the front as well. You can see here, it's got a big dent. So this whole quarter is pretty much gonna need to be replaced up to here. Um, this seems pretty solid, even though it was under the uh, vinyl top. This is that dent on the roof I was telling you about on the other side. Um, definitely repairable, I would say. And of course, we've got the glass over here too. I get to clean those. But we'll get to that. This door does open too. Finally got that working. So this quarter, the front of it, the inner structure all seems okay. Rocker on this side seems pretty good up to the front. Once you get to the front, it's gone. A pillar, good about halfway up. This door is, let's see, take a look under here. This door doesn't look terrible. Coming all the way up back here. This door kind of looks like it's a, a good candidate for fixing up. A little bit of rust up here bubbling, a little dent up here on the front. But overall, this door looks pretty good. And again, the rocker, got the molding on here. You can see it's got some fender, of course, fender rust in here. This fender still has the 350 Malibu. I believe this is the original fender for the car. And then the top looks pretty good. Coming on over to the front, you do have some denting in here. And up in here is actually a slight crease right, right up in here. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see that. So yeah, this fender might need to be replaced. And uh, of course this wheel, um, inner fender well will need to be replaced, but we do have all the suspension is here. Missing shocks on the back, but I do have uh, springs. This is the one I had to put a rear end into. Will come with these wheels. They're just later GM wheels, something to roll it on. They hold air, three out of four of them for a decent amount of time. And to this fender extension, it's actually in pretty good shape. We got a, we got a light, we got a bezel, we got a headlight, we got a bezel. Actually it looks like it's in decent shape on this side. So that's pretty much it for the outside of the car. Let's take a look at the engine bay. So this hood is obviously not the correct hood for this car. Um, it is in decent shape. It's got a little bit of uh, waving going on up in here in the front and a little like gouge here in the middle. Um, overall, it looks like a decent hood, maybe down a little bit here on this corner. You can see there's some other things going on. That back corner is actually up because I have the wrong hinge on it. I just put a hinge on it so we can open it and close it. And with that, let's go ahead and open it. So with the hood open, we can see it's got a lot of surface rust, but I don't see any major bending or twisting on it. It is a standard hood down here. Everything looks to be in good shape. Um, it does have the usual little creases in here from closing when it was uh, not sprung correctly or whatever problem that they usually have this side seems like it's in a little bit better shape but you really can't see that on the outside and uh, I think it actually looks okay but that's uh, the hood the whole front edge and everything here looks okay and uh, does close you got the latch here the rad support everything on the rad support looks okay starting over here at this corner of course, the battery tray is going to be gone. Uh, the frame looks okay over here. Inner fender well, we discussed that. We'll need to be replaced. Firewall doesn't look like it's been cut up or drilled out or anything. You do have the wiper motor on there. And e-brake cable is there. You got that North Carolina DMV sticker I just talked to you about. And coming up this side, same thing with the uh, inner fender. And that fender looks okay. Yeah, the emissions canister, it does have a power steering box on it. And of course, all the steering stuff is here. It does squeak when you turn the wheel, so I don't know if there's something going on in there or in there, but either way, 
that's going to need some work. It does have the proportioning valve down there. Actually, I remember this does have disc brakes. The SS I thought should, but didn't, but should have, but this does. But we don't have a master or a booster, but this does have front disc brakes. Like I said, there's no engine or transmission, but it's ready for a small block to be put back in it, or an LS if you so should choose. It does have a sway bar here too. This guy, probably one of those, uh, was that three quarters of an inch? Whatever that is. All right, moving on to the interior. Coming in here, so it does have the door panels. Not much of this you can use, but you know, if there's things like this that you can't get aftermarket or whatever, it does have handles and things. You need an edge for that, but for whatever it's worth, it does have some of this stuff. Of course, we do have a front bench seat and a rear bench that you can use and recover if you so choose. The headliner, of course, is shot. And then the gauges, it does have the round gauges, 40,073 miles on it. Um, this may be an SS dash. It's got a temperature gauge and whatever that is. It's so dirty I can't see. It says Faith Hostetter Petty on there. It's got a Chevrolet um, block. Uh, oh, that's from the AC vent. It does have the uh, controls. Radio, of course, is missing. Dash pad is missing. There's a glove box over there. Um, there was a speaker up here. As I said, the windshield is cracked. So pretty much everything in here will need to be replaced. But it does have a dash. Maybe you can get this going or something. Uh, we've got a gas pedal. We have no brake pedal, of course. Nothing is in there. The e-brake pedal is there and the uh, bright light switch. Some of the transmission tunnel looks like it was originally a four speed, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's got the hole cut out for that. The passenger side floor doesn't look as bad. It does have seat belts and uh, it's actually got seat belt covers up here for the, uh, the shoulder belts. That's a nice option. Put that on the eBay listing for you. Package tray is pretty much gone. Back seat is there. And there's some trim back here if you should use it if you so choose there's some extra grills that are useless but they're there there's the door to the uh, glove box is in there as well the rear armrests and uh, door panels or inner door panels they're not doors because it's a two-door but inner panels are there and the rear seat as I said So that's pretty much the car. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. Put them on the eBay site listing. That way, if anybody else has questions, then they can be answered there. Otherwise, if you're watching this on YouTube, I thank you for your support. Keep watching if you're not interested in this project. I still have about 12 more cars that I'm going to be doing this, cleaning them up, getting titles, hopefully, and selling them. Um, otherwise, if you're watching this on TikTok or Instagram or any other social media through Facebook or something, please go to the YouTube and subscribe there. Like and follow. If you're enjoying it, send it to other people. And if you are interested in buying this car, go to eBay. It is for sale right now now well if this is uh, coming out Thursday it'll be on Saturday to Saturday so go on eBay and check out if you missed this one there may be another one up there so other than that I thank you for watching so stay positive and keep on wrenching